Hola, tío. Sí. Papa, come to Japan. It's sick over here, bro. What kind of fun things can I do there? Tío, you ever kicked a balloon into the crowd? Okay. Hola, Japón. What's up, boys? And welcome to the hottest FIFA series that you can watch on a Sunday. That's all, folks. What's up, boys, and welcome to Flashback Forecast on a... That's all, folks. What's up, boys, and welcome to Flashback Fridays, the hottest FIFA series that you can watch on a Sunday. This was supposed to be uploaded on a Friday, but because we had other recording, uh, we had other recording responsibilities, this is not able to be uploaded until Sunday. Uh, so that is when you guys are seeing it. By the way, I uh, bought myself a new pair of shoes for the first time in, I think, six months. I've been wearing... These, I don't even know what they're called. They're, I think they're ZMXs, uh, Adidas ZMXs, uh, and picked these up from the Nike store yesterday. Again, not an ad. Uh, just saw these, and they're really, really cool. Has the Olympic, uh, has the uh, Olympic, has the PSG uh, markings inside. Is it, it says, uh, let's see, ici c'est Paris, ici c'est Paris inside. So it's got the PSG markings, and just a really, really cool shoe. Um, there's a, there's one other one. Well, there's one more of those, by the way, in case you guys were wondering. It's off screen, just sitting there next to the one I just dropped on the floor. Can you tell that the G Fuel's kicked in, bro? This literally 20 minutes after I ingest G Fuel, I turn into a different human being. I feel like I could I feel like I could run an endurance race. But we are here today to talk about David Villa, who is in the news recently because he is going to be joining, and I, I can't believe I'm saying this. He's joining Iniesta and Podolski at Vesel Kobe uh, in the next coming days. He's already in Japan. Don't know when we're gonna get that card, uh, but should be hitting the FIFA database, I would assume. Pretty, uh, pretty soon. But like I said, he's joining not only Iniesta and Podolski at Vissel Kobe, but will be joining his former uh, Spain teammate, uh, Fernando El Nino Torres, El Guaje, El Nino, El Don Andres. Is Iniesta's nickname or El Illusionista? I'm, I'm, what is what is uh, what is Andres Iniesta's like official nickname? David Villa is El Guaje, which means the kid, and then Fernando Torres, El Nino, the boy. What is Iniesta? Podolski, we know he's Der Kinderegg. If you guys haven't caught any of the flashback epis, what we do is we take a player who's a little past their prime. I believe he's 34 years old right now. Uh, El Nino, uh, Fernando Torres is 34. David Villa might be a little bit older. Uh, but we essentially uh, we essentially uh, slap an attribute item onto their card, which jacks off their uh, which jacks off their stats way higher than usual. As you guys can see here, 84 pace doesn't come close to the 90 pace that he had in FIFA 10. As a matter of fact. Uh, I have the three cards right here. At least I believe I have the one card. Let's take a look at Villa's card for Valencia. 90 pace, 95 shooting, 75 passing, uh, 89 dribbling. So we get up to 97 dribbling with the attribute, uh, 84 pace with the uh, all attribute boost, and then 98 shooting, 89 passing, 83 physical, and 49 defending. These stats that you can see right here. So some stats not quite what he had in FIFA 10, the 93 Valencia card, and some stats a little bit less, a little bit more. But if you guys are enjoying the flashback series, you guys love the Ebro one, you guys love the Poldy one, and we're doing one, this is a special edition where we're gonna jack off the price, we're gonna jack off the pace, uh, the stats of two other players. Obviously, I guess you guys can guess who that is. Uh, if you guys are enjoying the series, drop a huge thumbs up on the video. Let's try and hit something nuts like, I don't know, 2,000 likes for a flashback David Villa if you guys would wanna see that in game. If you guys are new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. But like I said, boys, we had to uh, we had to attribute boost not only Iniesta, not only David Villa, but also Iniesta, and then also Fernando Torres. And then the guy linking them all together is none other than Vissel Kobe, Lucas Podolski. We've got Asensio there on the left. We've got Suso there on the right. Uh, and then Abate, who is a guy that I called out as a player that could get a flashback item, go all the way back to, I don't know, was it 12 or 13 where he had the 90? He had, he had blistering, blistering pace. Uh, but would be interesting to see what they do there. So we've got the attribute, uh, attribute boost on the three players. Uh, Podolski, we're not going to attribute boost because he does have himself that informed card. We're going to stay with the 4-5-1, see how it plays. Haven't used it extensively this year, but we're going to get into a couple matches of diff rivals. We're going to take these boys in and we're going to see if we can get some reactions out of players. Wait, Flash Boateng? No. El, uh, El Guaje. The kid. This was a tough kit to put on. Uh, a subscriber sent this to me. I'm not going to lie. This was a very tough kit to put on because of what happened in that 2010 World Cup. 
Uh, just a few things. Germany got kicked out of Spain. Germany were one game away from going to the World Cup final. Got kicked, uh, got kicked out by Spain. 1-0 defeat. Uh, and then the Netherlands made it to the final and then lost 1-0 on an Iniesta goal. In that final, I believe David Villa was taken off in the 106th minute for Fernando Torres. David Villa had a very good chance, uh, but I believe Heitinga got in the way. Uh, it got in the way of Dav David Villa present uh, preventing that from going in. So, not a great World Cup for Germany or the Netherlands. Netherlands obviously got further, but I feel like sometimes it's better not to get farther. You know what I mean? Like, had Germany gotten to the final and lost, I feel like that would have stung way more than where Germany went out, which is right before uh, the World Cup final. But this guy's gotten a tribute boost on one of his players. He's got a, a bronze attribute item boost on his, uh, on his Hugo Lloris. But it's, it's all about the Spaniards right now, boys. And, God, dude, that's still a little tough to say. Still, dude, even Euro, wasn't it Euro 2008? Spain just dicked on Germany so many times. I still, what was it, uh, was it Puyol that scored against us in 2008? The Golden Shoe winner for that World Cup, I believe was Thomas Muller, had the same amount of goals as David Villa. David Villa got the silver, uh, but the reason that they edged it for Muller is because he had like a bunch of assists as well. That was probably one of his better, probably one of his better World Cups as he's, that he's ever had. Here we go. Torres. All right, that was uh, that was no bueno. That was richtig no bueno. David Villa. Honestly, I, I thought I'd seen it all El Nino! Years, but, uh... Oh, El Nino, you gotta put that. By the way, the attribute boosts are 100% real. If you don't believe in chemistry styles, that's one thing. I believe it at all. Uh, but the attribute boosts are 100% real. He is, dude, Villa and Torres are flying around the pitch right now, boys. Wait for it. Podolski! Podolski to David Villa! And then David Villa to his boy, Andres Iniesta, the gold, the World Cup goal scoring record. Uh, sorry, the, the World Cup goal scorer in the 2010 World Cup. I mean, can I even talk? Bro? I mean, the G Fuel got me awake, but I can't even talk now. El Nino! Ah, El Nino almost puts one through. Dude, who needs a CDM when you got Podolski? We had a nice little bit of link-up play. Ten shots, seven on target. We're crushing this guy. We're dominating. Only one one though. So that is the obviously that is the obvious important takeaway right there. We've got our little bit of fans. We've got our one pound fish fans over there. Our second Tosun. Let's get into this second half. Let's see if we can really open up this. Uh, let's see if we can op open up this formation. Let's see if we can get ourselves a second goal early. Excuse me? What the hell was that, dude? Come on! Let's go! Dude, we should have had that. We should have had that from David Villa from the get-go. El Guaje, vamos! Ah, it still stings. Five star weak point, four star skill moves. Could you imagine a flashback card of that caliber? God damn it! El Nino, we gotta get separation there, bro. A 9.2 from David Villa gets a goal, uh, gets a goal and an assist, and then Iniesta get him, gets himself. I th hey, I thought with the stats we had at the end of that first half, I thought maybe that was it. 
Do I need to feed them a little bit of tapas to get them going, dude? Possibly the final match coming up against almost a full Liga Santander side. He's got himself ex-teammates, well, ex-players that weren't even born by the time when David Villa was playing for them. Vasis Das, who had an embarrassing own goal for Valencia. Uh, Kondog Bia, whose UCL card I absolutely love, his 83 rated card I absolutely love. And then Rodrigo, probably one of the more OP strikers in the game this year. Come on, boys. You give them a little bit of pace, they still got crazy shooting. What the hell is going on there? Look at that. 85 pace, 87 shooting. You put plus 15 on his card, he doesn't even come close to what he had even before. Dude, FIFA 10 and yes to head, 85 pace, man. Just wrap your head around that. David Villa and Fernando Torres, those FIFA 10 cards, arguably might be the best... I don't even want to say striker duo, but is that the best... Are those the two best strikers in FIFA history? Like, I know that's a pretty lofty thing to say, but... Change my mind. Yes, Looking for Torres! Yes! Come on! Bro, we're going back to the uh, we're going back to the golden days! We are back to the golden era. The only thing's missing is the blue hair. You remember the blue hair he had in was it 17? Jesus, bro. Look at that. That combined age right there is what is that 40, 40, 40 that's 260 years of age right there, boys. 200 and oh, no, sorry, 160 age. 168. It sounds like a sounds like a League of Legends or like a Dota stat. That would be a la mia, viva la miva. Chip it! I dare you! Oh God! I shouldn't have done it! I shouldn't have done it! I got too cheeky. I got way too cheeky. You have got to be kidding. Oh my god. Oh. I mean, I want to say I have no explanation for... Okay, I mean... Alright. Okay. Iniesta? Yo, Andres Iniesta turning back with the 80 shooting. Turning back the hands of time. 3-3 three, three in the 85th minute. Ah, I, do, I wish there wasn't draws and div rivals, to be honest with you. But I'll come away. If, hey, we need a draw here. If we're coming away with a draw here, I'll take it. Papa de Celaya. Ah, okay. Oh, that's tough. Okay, so we get, uh, we get some good performances out of some of the boys. Iniesta was good. Fernando Torres. What did Torres do? He got two goals. Okay, so never mind. Uh, Torres got himself two goals in that match. Iniesta got himself a goal. David Villa, uh, before, got himself two goal contributions, but doesn't score once in this one. So, um, I'm not gonna lie, a little bit disappointed, but you could definitely tell that we were playing with boosted players. Nowhere near what they were at their peaks in FIFA 10, but, uh, very, very fun playing with that trio of players up top. Let's take a look at what their stats look like after two matches played. Uh, but uh, always fun going back in time. It's almost like having like a little time capsule. Like, you know, we use the attribute style. Uh, we use the attribute boost, and it's almost like a little bit of a time capsule. Let's see what we got. Iniesta, uh, David Villa has himself 
uh, three gold contributions in two matches played. And Yesta has himself three gold contributions in two matches played. And then Fernando Torres has two in two matches played. So I can't even, I don't even remember what happened in the first match. But the second match, we come back and we manage to uh, draw it 3 3 versus a very, very good opponent. But uh, so that, that gets us done with flashback uh, potential Ibra, flashback potential Arsenal Podolski, and then flashback World Cup winners via Torres and Iniesta, uh, El Guaje, El Nino, and Don Andres uh, individually and then respectively, surrounded by a couple of their ex league mates. But anyway, boys, hopefully you guys have enjoyed, as always, in these epis. Let me know in the comments selection, uh, in the comment section down below, what one player or maybe a group of players that we could do a flashback epi on. Let me know in the comment section below if you guys are enjoying this mini series uh, as a one off idea. Make sure to hit that like button. Let me know you guys are enjoying it as well. If you guys are new to the channel, as always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I will see you guys for another upload tomorrow. Till next time, my bros. Tschüss. Later. Adios. <laughs>